Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for whenever it resonates. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Typically, I find that these readings resonate a few days later up to a week later. Okay, that's just the way it is. I mean, it could be happening right now. That happens sometimes as well. So just keep in mind, you know, the way I see it is it's usually a couple days later. I would say anywhere from usually three to five days later. That's when these play out. Could be longer, could be less. Take it as it is, right? So let's just see what we got here. What do we have for a message? What do I need to deliver today? Big pile. Too big. We're going to keep going. Well, if that don't look familiar, I don't know what does. Son of a gun. Look at those. We had both of those yesterday. There's one underneath it. We're going to see what it is in a minute. But we definitely have somebody who's not feeling good. You know, this is going to be a carry-on. This will probably be part three. Okay? <laughs> but it looks at things. Okay, the three of cups reversed. There, there, you know, I thought about this again yesterday after I did the second reading. This three of cups reversed. This is a lack of emotional growth. It is. It's also, this could be a friend that is actually an enemy or it could be a gang up. It could be three people or two people against one. Okay. And somebody is, com maybe some, this, this right here is the end of something and somebody is feeling defeated over this ending loss of a friendship or something didn't turn out the way that they expected it to do or to be. Now this could be gossiping. Um, this could be bitchy women, um, or I suppose it could be men, but typically the three of cups, I mean, there's women typically on the card. Um, but this is also the party is over. So the party is over with the three of cups and somebody, again, I mean, we, we, this is very prominent by the looks of things, something, it's the end of a painful situation. It's been very, very painful very painful with this ten of swords overwhelmingly painful now this it's like this it, i can't take it anymore somebody seriously can't take it anymore um whoo perseverance we had this all three of these cards yesterday and they just jumped right out of the deck you saw it happen so this is somebody that is um very guarded, wounded, wounded, still fighting by the looks of things or not, not willing to walk away. Hmm. It's like this person probably, it would be better for this person to just go, but this person, um, is very determined, very, very determined in, to, uh, it feels like to bring another person down. Hmm. We have somebody here that is definitely suffering. It feels like they have an opportunity to get out of a situation, but they're choosing not to. Very interesting. This Three of Cups reversed is this party is over. It is. <laughs> oh, look at this. This one didn't come up. We're going to have to take it. Oh, there's a two. Okay. So yesterday, this was reversed, and this one was upright. Interesting. So... This is, this is somebody that is lacking discipline. 
can't master their emotions. They could be blocking their own success. Again, we have the seven years or the 14 years. It's a seven year cycle or a 14 year cycle. So, and you see the bee, I happen to notice this bee, something is buzzing, it's buzzing all around. There's probably a lot of talk, gossip going around, okay, just saying. But this is somebody that is blocking their own success. They're unable to move forward. It's pretty clear. It is clear. Somebody has lost their direction and they can't master their emotions. It's time to, you see, it's got the shovel that's digging up and it's time to go someplace else. Now, this is a card of transformation. This is a, a, a butterfly is a sign of transformation. It's a time for a transformation. It's time for a change, but somebody is unable to take charge. They're unable to take the lead. They're unable to master their emotions and head out. It's like it's time to head out, but they can't head out. Somebody is investing in, in something that has no more growth. And they are definitely trying to prove something. It's like they can't accept defeat because this is defeat. Interesting. Sorry, I was making you look at that white for a minute. Now that was a clean slate, wasn't it? That was a clean slate. Take that as a message. It's time to start with a clean slate. It's time to get yourself in the driver's seat and go someplace else. Do what you need to do to bring success. Stop blocking your own success. Stop staying where you are at, where there's no more growth. It's definitely time to do something else. There's no, it's no kidding. Something is over. It's done. We have somebody that will, it's like they can't accept the defeat or they can't accept that something is over. It's like they just can't give up. They can't give up. And and sometimes, you know, that that's a that's a weakness. And this is weakness. Stop putting in effort. Somebody needs to stop putting in effort. The eight of coins reversed. Stop, stop trying to make something be that isn't be interesting, interesting. Seriously, stop trying to make something be that isn't meant to be. Now, this is a card of control. It really is. It's like somebody is trying to control a situation. And it's time to stop giving it your energy, giving it your time. Somebody um, didn't put effort enough effort into something when they should have. And now there's no success. And it's time to... It's over. You didn't take care of it when you should have. Too late. Now it's too late. So why are you trying to hold on to it now? Interesting. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for growth. There's a big, bright opportunity here. Ten of Wands. But this ten, this is in reverse this time. That means that you need to let go. This is, this is make a conscious change. If you were to look up the Ten of Wands in reverse, this is a conscious change to break free from something, to drop something. 
Drop whatever it is that you have been hanging on to so that you can be happy. There's an opportunity for big happiness here. But somebody is blocking, blocking their own happiness. It's time to let go. Drop the dead weight. It's, it's like somebody has lost their discipline. They've lost their willpower. They've given up. And, you know, somebody may actually need to lose weight. And you could be successful if you found the discipline and the willpower to control yourself. So anyway, I'm one to talk, I know. But anyway, this, I'm telling you what the cards say. It feels like this is dropping weight. And this is, this is uh, good health. Maybe somebody needs to refocus on their health. They've lost their willpower. They've lost their discipline. They're not putting in effort. You know, if you want to, if you want to, somebody needs to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, you got to put in effort. You've got to find discipline. This could go either way. This could be losing weight or gaining weight. Some people need to gain weight. It has something to do with weight here. Somebody needs to regain their health. They need to focus on their health. And it's like, this is, a, this, is, this is over right here. Okay? It's time to do something else. Interesting. Boy, we're getting the same cards. And I've been shuffling. You guys have been seeing me shuffle. Same cards. Seriously. So this is take action. Stop thinking about it. Just do it. Somebody needs to take action. <laughs> the Page of Cups reverse. This isn't fun. It's not fun. Whatever it is. Somebody's not happy. They're not emotionally fulfilled and they may feel like they can't socialize or they're not interested in socializing. It's, I feel like we have somebody here that needs to find the strength within them to pick themselves up from rock bottom, to change their circumstances, to change their life, but they're not finding the discipline to do so. With hard work, you will be successful. But in, somebody has to seriously take action, and they're not taking any action. It's like, so therefore, there's a dead end. This is a dead end. It's like you're looking at a dead end if you don't take action. Somebody needs to take action. Somebody may be losing out on a relationship or losing friends because they don't have the energy or they don't have the the self-confidence or something to, to get out there because of their own self-image problem. We saw a self-image problem yesterday. It could be any sign. <laughs> but this is, this is something coming in, the Knight of Swords. I mean, why did I say Swords? Knight of Wands. Seven of Cups. There's options. There's choices. Choose wisely. Beware of false beginnings. This is a card of consequences. Seven of Cups is a card of consequences. Be careful with your choices. Be careful with what you choose. There's gonna. There's always going to be consequences. So somebody is dealing with some consequences. Maybe they act impulsively. They can't control themselves. Something looks good. They take it and boom. Shit. Instant gratification. Be careful. You know, be careful with your choices. Be careful with instant gratification. What's it going to cause you in the long run? Anyhow. Oh. Let's go over here. King of Coins. This is somebody who is very practical hard working. Somebody needs to put in effort by the looks of things. But it's like they're, they with this page of cups reversed, it's like they lack feeling or something like that. They may be 
whatever they're doing, it's like they're trying to bury their feelings, hide their feelings or something like that. Six of coins, upright. This is given to you. Reap what you sow. You do reap what you sow. Now this is all. This could be the page of cups reversed. This could be a child, or it could be somebody that you're dealing with that doesn't reciprocate in love. And there's an opportunity for reciprocation, or if you put in effort, was I don't know because this is putting in effort, and this is equal give and take. This is reciprocation where things are people, you know, it's equal. But this page of cups reversed, this is this is unrequited love or it's not love or somebody's not emotionally fulfilled. They may be in a third party relationship with something and it's, they need to be practical here. This could this is going another way. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be careful. This is be careful with your choices. Somebody could come flying into your life looking for one thing. So just be really careful with that choice. There could be consequences for that. Doesn't look like it will turn into anything. Doesn't look like it will turn into a relationship. This person may be wanting to prove something to the person that hurt them because this is a wounded warrior. Maybe they want to prove something to that they can have somebody else and just be really careful here. You could have somebody come flying into your life that has a point to prove to the person that hurt them. And, you know, be careful with your choices. Be This is beware of false beginnings. There's going to be consequences here. So somebody's going to be suffering some consequences for their impulsive actions. And it could be a unrequited love. They may, may they may think that they're gonna they're getting love from somebody, but it's not. This person this is a third party situation. This person may be in love with somebody else and they're just looking for sex. Just be careful here. Uh, anyway, um six. Oh, we got another one. It's sideways, so it's a challenge here. We have the Queen of Cups sideways. So this the getting somebody to open up emotionally is going to be a challenge here. Hmm. It looks to me like somebody is probably wanting love, but, but, but they might not get what they want. This person may present themselves as love, but it may not be all that it seems. You gotta be really can put that in the deck because it came out sideways. We're gonna see if it comes out again. Boy, things are just to keep a falling out like crazy. Now the King of Coins is somebody that is very stable, secure, hardworking. This person may be wanting to give something, but it looks like I don't know, let's see what we got here. Woo! We got this Queen of Wands reversed here again two cards of consequences right together these are both cards of cons consequences and it's a, a sudden choice this is a sudden and this is a choice and unexpected hmm. ooh a lot of similar cards six of cups so Somebody has to reevaluate with these sixes. Six, six, six. Six, six, six is a car, is a number of reevaluation. It's the journey to balance and harmony. But you have to reevaluate, reevaluate your choices, reevaluate your decisions before you jump, before you leap. Somebody is going to be offered an, an opportunity and it's a golden opportunity. Okay, this person has a golden opportunity in their hand. But you got to be careful. You do got to be careful because it feels as though you may not be prepared or somebody may not be completely pre prepared for what they are getting. There could be another person. This is another woman. We talk about this a lot. This per Somebody may be in involved. They may have another woman here. There may be another woman or somebody that is um, jealous, childish, uh, Definitely we have somebody here that has a self-image problem. We already went through that. 
get prepared. Get prepared. This person may get very, very upset as somebody gets involved with somebody that actually, actually reciprocates with them. So if this person is very childish and immature, um, lacks confidence and self-esteem and is miserable and likes to bring people down with them. I'm going with the energy of the card. So I feel like somebody needs to get prepared to this per to receive something. It's like this person, I feel like is some sort of jealousy issues here. This could be the loss of a child or a loss of emotional fulfillment. Um, And this is getting what you deserve. This person may thinking be thinking that they are going to give somebody what they deserve. The Six of Cups. This is this is this has something to do with children, I believe, but it also has to do with nostalgia, memories. Emotions. I think it's going to be a very emotional time with this page of cups and these these cups here. Okay, there's emotions here. Somebody is going to get very emotional about a new lover, perhaps. Perhaps there's some sort of unwelcome message that is delivered, and it could be even from a child, but it doesn't have to be. It could be from somebody that is very petty, you know, somebody that is vindictive. Somebody delivers an unwelcome message about a new love. Maybe somebody spills the beans. Could be a child comes home for a visit and spills the beans and it causes an uproar. Just saying. Um, there's definitely going to be a choice. These are both choice cards. Somebody's going to be making a choice, a decision. And there's an element of confusion here. I think there's an unexpected choice in love and it feels like it happens suddenly because this is very sudden and this is unexpected as well. So there's going to be a sudden opportunity for love or a sudden opportunity for a union and the union can be with anybody. Could be with child and parent, whatever. There's a sudden, it could be with lovers, it could be with anybody. There's a sudden opportunity for a union that comes unexpectedly. After somebody is in a un, in a situation that is emotionally unfulfilling and they deserve something more, get prepared for an arrival. Get prepared to receive something that you probably did not expect. Could be a message. Could be a gift. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Somebody's going to get prepared. Something is arriving that you probably didn't expect, but it's it's like it's. It has to do with stability in some way because this is very stable and this is, it's like, this is stability and this is somebody getting, reaping what they sow, good or bad, okay? Whatever is happening, it's going to lead somebody to balance and peace and harmony with these sixes. Somebody has definitely been in a very stressful situation, no doubt about it. And there's an opportunity for happiness. There's no, that's no joke. There's an opportunity for happiness, extreme happiness here with somebody that is stable, somebody that is hardworking, somebody that is, uh, devoted. This person is very stable. So somebody has an opportunity, but they have to choose wisely. Choose wisely. Do you want somebody that's going to come and go just as quickly as they arrived? Or do you want somebody that's stable? Just keep that in mind. There's definitely going to be two options here because that's the two or more. Two or more. Um, something to do with innocence as well. So it feels there could be an innocent child that is in the mix here because that's what I was just seeing right here. There's some element of innocence. So I'm not sure if, if, uh, what's going on here, but this is the loss of a relationship. And this is a, this is bitchy, a bitchy woman or a bitchy women. Somebody, this is, it could be a woman that is, is losing something. She's losing her friends. She's losing her relationship. She may be even losing her child or children. 
There's definitely been some impulsive action here with that Knight of Wands reverse. Somebody acted without thinking. They did. And now there's consequences because these are my these are to my very two consequences cards. Somebody may have been on some sort of, you know, acting like they were on a stage. You know, when you're on a stage, what do you, that's acting. They were acting. Somebody was, was acting. They weren't real. It was just a big, it was just a big show. Somebody was putting on a show. And this is a false, false, okay, it's false. So somebody was putting on a show and it feels like the, the, the curtain is closing. Like I said, the party is over. The show is over. The show is over. Somebody's going to get what they deserve, and it could be good, or it could be bad. This Queen of Wands reverse is probably, so whoever this person is, is going to be very, very, very upset. This person is lazy, self-centered, unreasonable, doesn't like to accept failure. And maybe, and, and you know, who does like to accept failure, but failure is part of life. Somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve. Get prepared. Some, something is, this is the party is over. There's an opportunity for happiness here and rebirth. Somebody has a, a golden opportunity that is being given to them. There's going to be a change, a conscious change. Something is coming to a complete halt. That's what I got. Let's get one of these. Now this is a card of healing. This person is capable of, of helping this person heal. So I think somebody has a new opportunity with somebody that is very stable, solid, and secure. But they also have an opportunity with somebody who is impulsive and acts without thinking. And you're going to have to choose wisely. you got two choices here. You want somebody who's stable, solid, and secure? Or do you want a player? You want somebody that acts. That knows how to act. The choice is up to you. It's your choice. It's your choice. Somebody has is going to be making a difficult choice. They are. You, you'd be, you know, if somebody has been acting impulsively and they've been having sex with somebody else, there's been a third party situation. This person likes attention, and when they don't get attention, they could show up at your door. Just saying. And it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's somebody who does not like not getting attention. They like to be center stage. Just be be prepared. Be prepared. One card, please. Oh, goodness. Why? 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 Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why is this happening? This is happening for a reason. This is all part of the plan. It's part of the script. You have to learn these lessons to get you through life. Without these lessons... You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, be the person you are today. This is building your character. That's why. 
You have to learn. You have to learn how to act with integrity. I was saying, why? 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 And the camera ended. It died. Be prepared. Be prepared for something to end. And ask, why? Good luck.